In this tutorial, I'm going to show you three free tools in Canva that you may not know yet. Since these tools are free, you can follow this tutorial if you have a Canva free account or a Canva Pro account. I recommend that you stay until the end of this video so that you don't miss out any of these uses or creative uses that I'm going to teach you with these tools. Hello everyone, my name is Diana Munoz. I am a Canva certified creative and also an online instructor. If this is the first time that you are visiting this channel, subscribe and hit the bell button. We upload new tutorials every week that are going to help you a lot. Now, are you ready for this tutorial? Let's go to my computer. Okay, so here we are in my Canva account. So for these first tools that I want to show you, I'm going to go to the templates section and select one of these designs. For this exercise, I'm going to select this one that has a photo. So for this design, I would like to customize it a little bit. I would like to use my own photo, but also um, a nice and cohesive color palette. But I, I know that uh, creating my own color palette can take a while and for all the colors to look nice and go really well together can also be difficult. So I'm going to show you a trick and I will say kind of like a hidden tool here in Canva that is going to help you in these uh, situations. So first let's change the photo. So I already uploaded one of my photos here and I'm going to change it. Uh, I'm going to change the girl's photo for mine. So let's move it like, like this and let's remove it. Okay, so now that I have my photo here, I'm going to select one of the elements, let's say the background, and I'm going to go here to the color menu. So let's open it. And as you can see here, we have different colors that says document colors. But also below this color palette, we see photo colors. So these photo colors, it's a cohesive or a really nice color palette that Canva created automatically out of our photos. So this way we can actually use some colors that are going to look really nice with the photo that we are using in this design. So I'm just going to uh, select the background. In this case, let's use, uh, for example, this color. And then I'm going to change the color of the other elements by using these uh, other colors in this new color palette so let's say oh, let's use this gray color here and like that i can create a new design that is a little bit more customized and that goes really well together and what i really like about this feature is that i'm making sure that all the colors are going to look nice together and also that they kind of like complement the colors that are in the photo that we are using in the design. So I think this is going to save us a lot of time and help us with our design creation. The second hidden tool that I want to show you today, it's going to help you also to create color palettes. So let's say that we are going to create or we need to create a design like this one in which we don't have any photo. So if we don't have a photo from which to extract or create a new color palette, where are we going to generate or take these new color ideas? So the hidden tool that I'm going to show you today is here. So you go to your left menu and go to more. So let's open this tab and here you see this icon called styles. So let's open it and as you can see here, we have a bunch of different colors and fonts uh, combinations. So let's go to the second tab here. We have three different tabs. Let's go to the colors. And here we have a bunch of different combinations that we can use in our design. So let's uh, try it out. Let's go to use this one. Let's say atomic sunsets. 
and with just one click I already have a different color combination in this design let's try another one and also we can try instead of just one click we can try more clicks in order to shuffle all the different colors in all the elements and fonts and text boxes and we can also keep clicking on the same color palette in order to get a different uh, combination so let's see here what other combinations we can get with the same color palette so i think this option is really really cool because we can get so many different color combinations with just one click we don't need to go to all the different elements and try different color combinations canva is really helping us here to get different color combinations so yeah we don't miss much time and we can come up with more new and creative ideas and this is the color section but we also have here the font section and as i already showed you or you may have seen we have a combination of both so if we also want to keep customizing this design we can go to fonts and change the fonts as you can see here we are also testing different font combinations we can see here different uh, fonts and let's say that you are still not happy with these combinations you can go here to all and try different combinations like font and colors at the same time with just one click so yeah i already mentioned it but i think this is a really cool idea a really cool functionality that is going to help us a lot a lot to create new and more creative ideas and i want to show you one more thing related to the styles uh, tool and it is this one as you may remember i am using a canva free account but what happens if i use my canva pro account just uh, remember this we are here in the all tab option and we can only see like already made or uh, pre-selected font combination and colors but what happens if i go to my canva pro account let's go here to the templates and select just a random template for this example and i'm going to my styles uh, functionality let's open it and as you can see here we have the options of my brand kit and if we go down below we have the trending combinations so these are the same font combinations and colors that we saw previously in the free account but with the pro account we have our own pre-made uh, font combinations and color combinations so with just one click i can have my fonts in this design and with just one click i can also have my branded colors into the design i can keep clicking on the color palette to try different color combinations but yeah just to show you with the uh, canva pro account you can have something even cooler because you can have branded uh, designs with just a couple of clicks and you can actually um, change or uh, create these color combinations and these font combinations if you go here to the home page and then to brand kit you can actually upload your fonts right here you can upload them and you can create several or as many um, color palettes as you want i really find this functionality especially uh, amazing if you have a canva pro account but yeah if you have a canva free account and still would like to try this um, feature that i just show you the brand kit and to be able to customize your designs and make them look on brand <laughs> i'm going to leave a link in the description down below so you can have 30 days for free of canva pro you can try it out without paying anything before moving to the next feature i would like to let you guys know that recently we launched a new course on udemy about canva ronnie and i decided to join forces and create a more advanced course together in case that you want to learn more about 
the content of the course, prices in your local currencies and check out maybe the student testimonials. I'm going to leave you a link in the description of this video so you can uh, learn more about the course. Now let's go to the final feature I want to show you today. Okay, I am back here to my Canva free account and the last feature, hidden feature, <laughs> I will say hidden because this one is quite new. So uh, let's go here to file, you see here, let's open it and we are going to click here on show rulers and show guides. These two options were not available before. These are quite new. And let's click here on show guides. So if you didn't notice, after clicking here on show rulers, we have rulers on the top of the page and on the side. And if we want to create some guides on our design, we just click on the ruler and drag our mouse below or to the side. So let's say that I want to create another page and I want to uh, position the text exactly in the same place as this page. So I'm going to create a new page, add a new page. And if I want to add a new text, let's go for this one. I know that it should go right here because on this page we created this guides and I can see them exactly in the same place or the same position in the next page. So I think this is really cool if you are creating designs with uh, multiple pages and you want them to look aligned and that they look organized. Also, I'm going to recommend you right here on top of me, you will see a video uh, that you can check after finishing this tutorial. I teach you how to create carousels for Instagram. And in this video, actually, we are going to use these guides and you will see how helpful they are to create this kind of uh, cool and entertaining designs. In the next tutorial, we are going to learn how to create this effect that you can see right here, in which we are going to add some drawings and some text to our photos. But if you pay attention, the drawings are going to be in between the person and the background. So this is going to generate a more trendy and interesting design. If you are interested in that tutorial, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it out. On the other hand, if you want to learn more about Canva, I'm going to leave you some tutorials right here that are going to help you a lot. Also, if you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and remember that if you have any tutorial suggestion, I'm always hanging out in the comment section, so I see you there. That's everything for now. I wish you a nice day and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.